Johnson, Miss Oklahoma, is the first runner-up to Miss America. Her community service platform is Milk It Really Does a Body Good, and her scholastic ambition is to obtain a master's degree in education. Betty will be performing later her incredible Irish step dance you saw during the finals of the Miss America pageant. But as first runner-up to Laura, we thought we would bring her out now to talk a little bit about what it was like to be on the Miss America stage, to be named America's Choice, and the first of the top 15 finalists announced, as well as those last nerve-wracking moments as she and Laura were the last two contestants on stage before the announcement of who would become Miss America 2012. Betty? Well, my Miss America experience was obviously a once-in-a-lifetime experience. It's something that I will never forget. When I look back on Miss America Week, I have the most fond memories. I made some of my best friends there, and it's incredible to know that those are going to be friends that I'll have for the rest of my life, because we really did go through something and experience something together that nobody else can understand unless they were there. And so it's really incredible to have those friendships from the Miss America pageant. And you were named America's Choice and the first of the top 15 finalists. What was that like? It was amazing. I mean, you get the nerves out of the way immediately because in my mind, I was actually already going over, okay, I have to run backstage, I have to change, I have to put on the next outfit so that I can be back out here for pick 15. And so when they said my name, I was just completely shocked and it was an honor to be America's Choice. And so that was something that uh, was very dear to me. Well, can you take us through the last moments before the crowning? I can. You know, that's something that you'll never forget. So I remember that moment like it was yesterday. I was standing about here, <laughs> center stage, facing stage left, waiting for Chris Harrison to announce Miss America 2012. So we're standing there. Laura and I have been hugging and laughing and crying. We're holding hands. And he said, Miss America 2012. Wait a minute, buddy. <laughs> this is someone missing from this picture. probably is wondering, just like we were, what was going through your mind right before they announced you as Miss America? Well, it's hard for me because it's such a blur that night, but while we were standing here, uh, a lot of what was going on on stage, the audience didn't see on TV because you and I gave each other a hug and we looked at each other and we said, we were going to support whoever's name was called, and we knew that it was meant to be whosever name was called, and we were going to support that woman and be proud of her. And um, I remember before my name was even called, I was crying. We were standing here like this, and I was looking up, and tears were running down my face. I don't know why. Um, before my name was called, and then my name was called, and I think for a second you have to ask yourself, was that really Wisconsin that was called, or was it Oklahoma? Did I prematurely uh, accept this, and it wasn't my, my state? Um, but it was just tears of joy and happiness because we all worked so hard for this and I don't think anyone expects to be the last one standing or to hear their name called. So to hear my name called and feel like all of that hard work paid off in a way that I never expected was truly remarkable. How are you feeling in that moment, Betty? Oh, I was, I was feeling great. I mean, it was exciting to be standing there, you know, of course, to be the final two at Miss America was incredible. And Laura's right, you don't ever expect to make it that far. It's something that you dream about, and it's something that you work hard for, and you think, I could do this. But honestly, once I got to the pageant, I turned loose of it, and I knew that it was was no longer in my hands. And so when we were standing there, and I, I just remember that so many of the Miss Americas have told me before that Miss America knows who she is. And she knows if she's Miss America. And I remember in that moment that I had an overwhelming peace that I was not Miss America. And that that was God's plan that Laura was going to be Miss America. And so that moment for me was so incredible because I had that peace of knowing that the most incredible lady out of our class of 53 women was going to be taking the crown. And she is absolutely wonderful. So since she's out here, I'm sure that you all would love to hear her grace this stage. With